everyone, Lo here. Welcome back to a new video and welcome back to a new vintage toy unboxing. This time I gathered a lot of packages and all that's in there is just from one toy line. Okay, if you've clicked on the video, you already know what the title says, so don't want to make it a mystery. It's all vintage Polly Pocket. I haven't uh, bought Polly Pocket in a while, I mean at least online. Um, at flea markets, I think sometimes I found it. I think the last one I found was in November. So, but <sighs> since my Polly Pocket case, like uh, the shelf, is pretty full, I was like, no, don't, don't even look at it online. No, no, no. But um, the Polly Pocket bug hit me like, I don't know, a month or two ago when I stumbled um, upon like some Polly Pocket YouTubers and I was like, so, like, Oh my god, this is so great. I need to get some more and no matter if I don't have space, I need to make the space. I want to have them. And so I, I think from like middle of January or so, I gathered all of those. I kept them all in the packages to um, be able to unbox them together with you. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not as good with Polly Pocket, like the names and everything, like as I'm, for example, the ponies. Generation One ponies, that's like where I know like way more. So that's why maybe if I, I have, to have to look up some of the names in between or something so that I don't uh, tell you anything like completely wrong or so, please, please excuse me for, for that. Um, let's just start with one of the packages. wrapping paper oh okay it starts really good right off the bat it starts with one of my childhood poly pockets I'm super excited there is another childhood poly pocket so I was able to get two of the ones I had as a child I think I had around I had, I had five poly pockets And this is exactly one of them and I remember so vividly that I wanted to have it because I saw it in a TV commercial. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's actually the um, Splash and Slide water park from 1995 so that's like it's a little bit later in the like vintage Polly Pocket let, let's say lifespan but still 1995 is still a good um, time like for for great looking Polly Pocket sets and I remember seeing the commercial and like I want that because it's a water toy let's see oh yes it looks exactly as I were what I remember and it comes with one Polly oh, she's stuck in there that's perfect um, it is like I don't know where to start actually because this is not one that you would would stand up like this and then here's the upper level and here's the lower no you really have to like let's see if it works yes you have to really make it flat and then it is a water like water park where you could fill in water in here and there should be so many different like actions that were like possible oh this is so fun Let's let's bring it to the camera. I'm so happy about this. This is in such a good condition. Also, like look at the label. This is still so shiny, so good looking. And here is a water slide. You could like if you fill up this whole compartment here in the middle with water, then you would spray water out if you pump it. Then this thing you could like change the arrow to different directions and then different things would happen um, either this is a whirlpool or it is like a like you know the lazy river where it flows in this direction or the other direction if you turn it and pump it or you would really have I don't know I think here then like a, like a shower it would spray water out of there oh it's so fun here's like a could lay, lay down here I think you could also lift this up yeah so it moves 
this also like this is like when you put stand poly on here or I think this way no here here actually and then it would go like and she would jump into the water uh, this is not complete but I'm happy to get at least one original poly with it this little girl with a swimsuit and flippers I think she's wearing flippers and actually it would come with four polys so two little babies or toddlers I don't know with like swim um, like what's it called like floaties here on the on their on their arms and another um, adult or whatever uh, poly sized doll uh, I don't know what she's called like I wrote it down let's see Kim she would be called Kim and she would be a black doll so a black baby a black doll Polly and another baby I think that was called Ben um, I'm so happy price wise I have to say I have like my set my um, like the price range for Polly Pocket a little bit different than with ponies because I know it is difficult to get Polly Pockets right now for very good prices. So it's like I want to have them for really cheap when they are like when there's no doll included at all or even like in a worse condition where something's broken off or anything or the logo is really vanished or whatever. Then like I, I want them for around I don't know 10 euro or something. Um, if there is like one doll included, I'm okay paying like 15 to 20 or something, a little bit higher sometimes, but not really. Um, and I know that for complete sets, you have to pay more, definitely. So this one was a very good eBay auction. So one doll included, my childhood poly, which I would also pay more. And um, I think I won this for six euros something or eight euros something. So like, that's amazing. This looks so good and it can stand really well because it's really, you can see it's really thick. So let's get to another package. Which one is this? Pretty heavy. I have to say, ooh, this is big. Whoa! This is huge! I thought it might be way smaller. Wow! I just I just actually wanted to say that most of them I got really off eBay because I found that um, like uh, pages like eBay Kleinanzeigen people tend to like want really like a lot of money for Polly Pockets and or the other way they don't say what they want and they just say like throw me an offer and for those people I don't answer like throw me an offer like no tell me what your price range is because we can um, like uh, spend our time better than you want 50 euro for this and I'm willing to pay like 15 you know um, no I don't uh, talk to these people at all and I found that Polly Pocket uh, on eBay like it really in auctions is still like as you see you can get better deals still there now I say it, it stands well and now it falls down. Whoa, this is huge. Let's open it up. Oh wait, it, it actually it is the High Street Money Box. The High Street Money Box is a very early one from 1989, so the first year of um, Polly Pocket. And mm, nice. So great color. So the early Polly Pockets. I would say until 1994, uh, they had like they were so pastel colored. Uh, in 1995 and then six, like, etc. It starts that they're getting like may, way more like bright, neony sometimes, you know, which I also love. But like for Polly Pocket, I actually prefer this color range. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This is the High Street Money Box, and let's open it up. Yeah, it's not the Money Box version. That's what I was already guessing. It comes with two little pieces. Let's look at these later. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, actually, um, it is called like money box because in some versions there was like really an inlay where really space for the different coins that you could put in. So it's more like a saving up your your 
um, your pocket money or something and this is then it also comes uh, this is just more like storage or whatever you want to put in um, also like called the trinket box so that's more probably what, what I would consider this and wait look at this Oh, I love it so much. This is like a street. Like the, the lower level here is like a street. That makes sense because we've got a car to drive around. This blue little uh, car with the yellow seat. Uh, it has a name. It is called Roadstar. And here this is more like a uh, three level like these are not really apartments I think these are more like meant to be offices and a post office I mean it directly says post office and a chemist aha uh -huh, a chemist so these are more like working environments so and here's the high street and you can also like use these benches to lift it up and the car is original this is the one that came with it uh, the poly that we have here is not original so here we've got this little beautiful girl with this light blue outfit. She's from the police uh, school um, set, which is also from 1998. This set came with three dolls and the car. So with uh, one male doll, so he was called Mr. Moneybank. So that's like his, his, his space, you know, high street money box. And then with uh, one poly pocket, and with um, one of her friends, Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina is always the girl with the two blonde pigtails. Um, I've gotten at least as so far into Polly Pocket that I can recognize the character. So, oh, she has this cute, beautiful curled hair. I love it so much. Although she's not, not um, from this compact. The colors, like this is life. Like, oh, just one, one, one other look. Just look at it. I know this will be a long haul because I'm so like entranced by it. This is so beautiful. I won this in an eBay auction. Um, it's a little bit low, but not really, to be honest. And um, for this was one of the, a little bit more expensive ones. I won it for 22 euro, but I was like, oh, this is so cool. I've never actually seen it before on sale at all, and I actually thought it's like, like I don't know like this and definitely not as deep it is huge and it's beautiful color oh my goodness yes the logo is not there anymore but and it's a little bit scratched but let's see what we can do about that can you make this stand up okay, probably the other way around better then it, the logo is wrong but this is more stable oh, I'm so happy okay let's get to another package Let's take this one. This nice yellow wrap thing. Which one is this? Oh, it has a little note. Ich wünsche Ihnen viel Freude. So, have fun with it. It says. Which one is it? The yellow enchanted storybook actually the first one that I that I won on eBay like it started my Polly pocket shopping spree um, and then I was like yeah you can still get them for good prices um, because I got this for I don't know uh, 12 or 14 or so which I consider good prices for Polly pockets because there is something in there. This is uh, also 1995, so same year as the Splash and Slide Water Park, but it is uh, from the series of books. So it looks like a book, and and here you can also see that there's a number. So it's the number three. So it's the third one of the three books. I already have the pink one, which is one of my favorites. It's called Glitter Island, and this one is the like. Uh, princess, uh, what is it called? Sparkling Palace or Princess Palace. The thing with Polly Pocket and its names is also, it's even more confusing because sometimes the sets have two different names. Like 
uh, the company that produced Polly Pockets, I don't want to open it before I, 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 I have to finish it, talking about this, um, um, actually is made by Bluebird Toys. This is what always is at the compact. I mean, here not, but you know, Bluebird. This is a British um, toy company, uh, really successful with Polly Pocket all the way the 90s, a phenomenon you could say. Um, but it seems it wasn't like it was, it was more like distributed or or also marketed by Mattel. So I have watched lots of Polly Pocket like um, commercials recently, and it always even uh, even though in, in Europe, like for example, I also saw German commercials that says von Mattel, by Mattel. So, um, and Mattel had different names for the sets. I don't know if it was in right around when they were released or maybe Mattel later on gave them new sets. So the Bluebird name for this enchanted storybook, um, the yellow one is actually Sparkling Palace and the Mattel name is Princess Palace. And this even gets me more confused. So let's open it up. They always have this leech here. You just pop it open. And then oh the glitter starts because it is all the storybooks are super glittery. Uh, you can really stand this well like this with this leech here. So like you can go playing. You can lift this up which is like like um, curtains or something and there we have the super sparkly oh this is so sparkly here are some of the dots oh i didn't even know that the horse is also in here ah i just thought it comes with one of the dolls and the carriage oh it is so beautiful what's that wow that's one of the reasons why I love like this series so much because they sparkle. I don't know if you can pick that up at least a little bit. The whole compact sparkles and it doesn't like rub off when you go with your finger over it. It's like really in in the plastic. The upper level here is like princess room, like you know, like more, more like a boudoir. Uh, we have this bed here. You also can like put the doll up in here if you open it like this or like directly in the bed and we have the bathtub we have vanity we have these beautiful chairs you can stand her in the middle and yeah Polly Pocket herself is missing it also came with Polly Pocket this is actually Princess Princess Laura so she's got my name yeah this is Princess Laura and here down below here are Here's also the stable, you can open the door for this beautiful horse. It's large, so you can put it there and then it gets this carriage and then you can put Princess Laura in there. And I think definitely more things are moving, like this spins around here, it's like a carousel. Like, I love it. Let's see, I know that these are a little bit tricky to like where to store the dolls that you can close it again because I have the Glitter Island one. Let's close it. This is so, do you, you know, when you, when you, like, how, how should I call it? You've seen so much of it like on, on uh, like, uh, in YouTube videos and you've like obsessed about it and now you finally have it in your hands it's like I feel like when I was like obsessing about Disney World have never been there and then finally I, I, I was there and was I was sitting in um, I was sitting in I don't know one of the roller coasters I was like oh my goodness finally I see this all in person I'm feeling a little bit like this that I'm finally having this now in my hands. I mean, I own Polly Pockets, but now I have some of the ones that I really wanted. Oh, it is so much fun. I'm sorry. I hope I hope you 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 you're not like to oh, she's she's like calm down, girl, but there's nothing in here. I got scammed. Now here. Here's something. <laughs> I have 
no clue which one it is. It must be a small one. What's this? Ah! Oh my, that was a really big package for the small horrors. This was one of the last ones that I bought. Um, actually, uh, like last weekend or the weekend before, my friend Michi was here and um, she was talking like to me about like, yeah, she also had Polly Pockets. And you know, I, I remember this one Polly Pocket that I always took with me to all of the family birthday parties whatsoever. Um, this yellow horse and I loved it and I found it at a flea market and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, this is from the pet parade. You see, this is from 1994, the pony ride in one pet parade and I was like, no, I don't have this, but the pet parade ones, um, they are high on my wish list. So there are four of these animal hats in this one collection and then there are three more pony hats, which I also absolutely want to have. Um, and this is the pony ride in one and when she left the day, I think, or the day after, I found this on eBay for a buy now price of 15 euro. And it comes with uh, the pet and the doll. At least uh, that's what I saw. That, that's why I was like, sure, 15 euro for a complete set. I know that one of the dolls uh, is a little bit broken, but I think I can, can I can do something about this. Isn't that cute? I mean, I'm a pony person anyways. And so the pony themed compacts from Polly Pocket, so they, they are perfect for me. Isn't that beautiful? And then you open it up and the lower level has a horse and it's really sitting, uh, sitting or standing there in the stable. You can open up this like door as you always can with Polly Pockets, you know. And actually this horse has a name. It's called Midnight. It's dark, it's like black, so I can remember it. And it is a flocked, it is a flocked animal. And I have to say this one is in a really good condition. It also has this white, um, oh, I don't know what it's called in English, blesser. And the upper level is actually, it looks like, this is like, you know, the inside of the stable or the cottage where, where she lives. You can open up this window, it reveals a nice garden behind. There's a ladder for the upper uh, compartment or the upper like level here where, well, obviously the pony is a winner. There's uh, like, like trophies and stuff like that, but it looks still so cozy as if this would be just um, like hay. You could lay on hay, could lay here. And here's the Polly and she's missing a leg. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, it's not it's not the worst to get a kind of complete compact uh, for 15 euro and I'm so happy to have this now and also that that was the one that my friend Michi, it was her favorite childhood Polly Pocket. I didn't have that one. Um, it's actually one of the Polly dolls that has a split uh, leg action so the legs can go sideways so she can really ride the horse. Right now she probably won't stay on because she's just one leg. But let's see if I can like do something about this, sculpt her another leg and then that should be fine. Really happy. Let's get to another package. Look at these colors. Mm, I'm love. Ooh. Okay, yeah. This is the next like big thing here in this haul for me. Uh, should be better to like uh, end with this, but I'm not going like up because I don't know what's in which package. Because this is one of my favorite childhood ones. I mean, I had this earlier than this, so when I got this, probably this was my favorite one because you know all this water toy feature things. I, I love that, but. Oh no, it isn't even. Ah, oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. This is not the one that I have as a child. Uh, that I have as a child. No, no, no. Sorry, I was just um, a little bit because you know you just see a, a yellow heart. I had another yellow heart, but it's also in one of the packages. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Because this is from the. Oh, it looks also cute. 
This is from the, um, oh my goodness, the hairstyling compacts. What is it called? Happening Hair series or something. Uh, three of these heart compacts. And actually, I have a little bit of a different tech, not a texture, but like an over coat. It looks more uh, pearlized, which the other polys actually never come in this uh, pearlized uh, outer shell. Um, and they have like this lovely bow. Uh, three of them, so like I think uh, also a purple and a pink one probably. And this is the yellow one, and they all have something to do with like hair or or um, like styling and stuff like that because this is a styling salon. So, Ooh. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I actually cannot remember. Oh, there must be some. There must be something. And if 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 this was like it was definitely not complete. I also won this in an auction for a good price. And oh yeah, here is a poly in there. <laughs> How can I get there out? Oh yeah, now I have it open. No, this is, this is not the poly pocket that came with this set. Um, so basically all the poly pocket dolls that came with these, the in the Happen in Hair series, had, uh, had a little strand of hair. Also, real brushable hair. Um, so this is not the one because, but this, this. Let me bring it close to the camera. I mean, this doll. I'm pretty sure it goes to the the big compact. I, I have that one that looks like a, a sweets box. Um, what is it called? It's called uh, Star Bright Dinner. Or Star Bright Dinner party star right dinner party that's the one that's the one that belongs in it i don't have any doll yay i can put this now in the other compact um that's that's totally cool anyways she was in the shower because as you can see um this is like it's meant to be like a spa you know here we've got a shower and here is i think a sauna yeah this is a sauna and it's also really fancy here. <laughs> Upper level is seems to be like a rooftop where you can enjoy like having a meal or something in this really fancy environment. And then the lower level is meant to be the pool. So like, please, can you stay closed? So you could put also the poly in here. So if, as if she's splashing into the pool area. And then here in the front, it's more like a um, salon uh, where I think when you move this, ah, the chair moves from side to side. So here, would, she could have her hair could have been washed, and then here the hairstyling starts. And I don't know, this is this is probably the counter here. Um, so it's like a spa, a hairstylist, and um, I think you can also open this one up. Yeah, I remember. I remember that now. There was a horse inside that doesn't belong in here. I think this one has hair. So at least we have something with hair in here, but it's actually, this must be the horse from the pony riding uh, show. There is a compact um, looking like a horseshoe and it's like a pony riding show where you could put the pony in the middle and it could move all the way around. I think this is the one. I don't have that, but and nice to have it in here because this compartment actually is to store the dolls because this set actually came with a poly with hair. Oh, what's here at the back side? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Like flowers. I mean, they it's actually just... Oh, you can't close it now. Oh, can you? No, that's probably why Polly was in the... Somewhere else here. Let's put her in the shower again. I mean, she doesn't belong in here. Is this a compact with light? No. Because you have so many like see-through um, like lamps, etc. But it's definitely not not meant to be light. But look at these colors. This is like this is also 1995. But the aesthetic is still very, very pastel. I love that. So it's it's pink, light pink, and light light purple, and light 
light teal blue. If you wanna like see Polly Pockets like really in detail and in a really very good well-made video I can recommend you a youtuber uh, she's called Kirchi and she's doing like really Polly Pocket showcases and this is like a treat for the eye if you love that stuff I cannot uh, show you now every single detail this is more like a haul you know and not let's keep it like this um, because if you want to get into each of those compacts with all of those details, because the vintage ones are so detailed, it takes hours, <laughs> for, especially for me. Um, and I could, I, I have to investigate them myself definitely before that. Let's get on to this package here, the small, I think it was, <laughs> it used to be a, um, what is it, box for handkerchiefs. Um, Oh yeah, okay. This is the one uh, which has like, I think I bought from the same person four different compacts. And by the way, if you have noticed, uh, it's really just Polly Pocket compacts in this haul. Um, I know I have been like uh, collecting also Polyville. These are the houses, but more because I found them a lot on flea markets. Uh, I usually tend to like the compacts more than the houses. So like. By the way, compacts, I always say compact because this is like what we call them, but these were actually uh, called play cases. So houses are polyville and the co like the compacts are called play cases. So these are all play cases. So let's start with the biggest one of these. The other are really small. And this is a set that I got like one of the rare occasions where I got a super cheap price of the big line I'm like, For four compacts, I paid 26 euro. Um, but of course they're not in good condition none of them has a doll and especially with these three ones I know that there's a lot of stuff missing and one is even uh, discolored but I was willing um, to, 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 to uh, compromise that for paying just super little amount of money and this one I wanted actually to have around Christmas already <laughs> but I didn't this is the Christmas compact or um, sometimes also called, let me check, um, Polly's Musical Christmas Wonderland. Um, it is a red heart shaped compact from 1998, so the first year of Polly Pocket. And as you can see, it has a uh, holly wreath in the front around the la lovely Polly Pocket logo and it really looks Christmassy. And um, when you open it up, it reveals uh, also a winter wonderland, definitely. Let me first check it. So yeah, there's no doll included at all right now here. Ish, it came with a Polly, Polly Pocket, um, with, she really looked like, like, you know, Mrs. Santa. She had a red and white dress, beanie, etc. Um, it came with a snowman, with Rudolph's red nosed reindeer, <laughs> and with a slate. And, um, here you can see uh, it has these holes. This is always an indication for that the set used to be a musical one. That's also why it was called Polly's Musical Christmas Wonderland. I don't know where you had to push. There is here, I think this one. I think this is a little squirrel here. And when you would push this, because it's like a button, then the music would start. And I think it played Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. La 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 and so weiter, etc. I think because it came with the Rudolph reindeer little uh, doll. And the rest upstairs, it also looks it looks so cozy. It also it looks more like I don't know a cottage in, in Bavaria or something, you know, with these with these colors. I mean, it's Christmas colors, but then also these hearts here. And I think it's already like decorated for Christmas. And here this is more like a pond for ice skating. This is a sticker, it's like a decal, but it still looks good. I mean, a little bit dirty, but here places for the dolls to stand. And very typical for the early poly. It's not so detailed, but still detailed enough. Here's a gold, a golden, uh, I don't know, throne or whatever that is to sit on and this one also with the uh, 
Winterland uh, came in a, uh, I think a pink one, so this is like a variant, so this is a Christmas variant of it. Uh, what I wanted to say is like the two level um, upper part, two or three levels. Um, not many like action things, you can't move much here, so this is a typical early Polly Pocket. I really wanted to have that actually for around Christmas. I was looking it up on Christmas because I wanted to take photos of this, but it was like pretty expensive around Christmas. And also, yeah, when you search for exactly a name of the set, then the people know what it is and they charge you more money. Other than when you find these offers for like Polly Pocket, here are all the compacts for 20 euro. <laughs> then you, you don't know which one this is. These three belong to the same series. It's a jeweled collection and uh, oh my goodness, they all come with a jewel in the middle and there's these really intricate, um, I don't know, embellishments here, silver. And actually I see that this one, it came with a chain because there are two different versions where it always in the back had a hole but some of the earlier ones really came with chains although this is not really a locket so it's too big to be worn around as a necklace there are also lockets in this uh, jewel collection but still some of them came with chains no chain is missing and it's just this one ring left and i think this is the jeweled c or um yeah well jeweled is more the mattel name the bluebird name was more like princess polly's da 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 so this is princess polly's water something the sea world princess princess polly's undersea world and yeah at least this is intact so it's not discolored and in the middle it comes with the shell where the jewel is in there because these have like jewels all over uh, as i said front then here in the middle there's always one compartment that you can open up, like a treasure chest. There's another jewel in there. And then the poly dolls also would come with a jeweled like crown, like also with one of those plastic jewels. And yeah, basically jewels all over it. And also always with one animal friend. I think this one had um, an otter, otter or beaver in there called Diver. And let me check. You can take out this compartment here in the middle. That's why they get lost pretty easy. Some of them were also glued in there. So the very early released ones were glued in there. Um, jeweled C. And the next one is Princess Polly's Ice Kingdom or Jeweled Iceland. So this beautiful, oh, this, this matches like perfect to my sweater today. It's, and this is also broken here. So you can see it's broken there, this part. And, but it also came with a chain. Let's open it up. And yeah, here the, uh, the treasure chest in the middle is also missing. But, and I didn't prepare that, but I can get this out now for you. Also, obviously, does not come with any dolls. It is meant to be like an ice palace. You know, the upper level here has an ice throne and all these, these, these ice icicles here. Um, I don't know what that compartment is meant to be, like an ice cage or something. And then here down below, there is a little seal. And in the middle, there would be like an iceberg that you could open up and there would be this beautiful jewel in there. And the cool thing is I have both of the dolls. Let me get um, them out for you. Because um, last year in February, my friend Zenya gifted me lots of her childhood Polly Pockets. And in those Polly Pockets, there were lots of other dolls. And in two different ones, and I found a little girl. There you see, she has a crown and there's a jewel. This is the Polly Pocket that belongs to this set. She doesn't have a face anymore. I should draw a new face on it. But she comes with a typical Polly Pocket curly short hairstyle. And she has a light blue, uh, blue, light lavender 
coat, the fur trim, and she belongs in here. And then I found in one of the animal compacts, I found this one, but this one also belongs here. This is the polar bear called Snowy. Uh, the same mold was also used for another compact, but there he had like pink paws, so I definitely know that he belongs also in here. I mean, of course, it's a little bit broken and the treasure chest is missing in the middle. But I have the dolls! And now the last one, which is like definitely in the worst condition, although it is my favorite from the look, it is the jeweled palace, the pink one, the uh, Princess Polly's, oh my goodness, Princess Polly's Eastern Paradise or Ruby Paradise, so another name, like so many different names for those sets. It is the one that is um, uh, themed around like um, a thousand and one nights, so Arabian palace, things like that. And it actually is not meant to be <laughs> orange, it's meant to be pink. But this will be also a good way, yeah, at the back you can see it was pink, to try to um, put this also in uh, oxidation cream, if I can sun fade this, and get this to its original color, or if it's just getting light pink. Anyways, I think I can definitely do something about this. Um, let's open it up. So it also came with a chain. So apparently the ones that we got here in Germany came all with the chains. Maybe I find nice chains that I can attach to it. So these actually are the two um, like silver ones with the silver embellishments of the silver logo. And there would be two uh, of the ones with gold. So this is one of the gold ones. There's another one called Jeweled Forest, the green one. So there you go. Also the treasure chest in the middle is missing. But the interior still looks Beautiful. Can you see those, those Arabian uh, um, windows, these, these shapes, all oh, this bed with a canopy and is there a vanity again? Yeah, Holly Pockers always have a vanity, vanity. The stairs and the lower level like in the middle there would be really a treasure chest with a red jewel. Then there are cushions here, pillows and it would come with a Polly Pocket obviously with a red jewel and it comes with a monkey friend that's called Cheddar that has like a little hat on like Abu from, from Aladdin. I think this definitely generally has Aladdin vibes. Also, I didn't even say that, but these, the jeweled collection is from 1992. So 1992 is also the release year of Aladdin. So the Disney one, I don't know if if they worked at the same time at a Arabian themed one where the little monkey is wearing a, a little hat or if they kind of were already in touch with Disney back then I have no idea because uh, at I think in 1995 it started that Polly Pocket Bluebird Toys also created Disney compacts directly Disney compacts uh, I have two more packages so I think then this one must be like my last favorite uh, childhood one let's start with a small one here um, this was more of an, I, I don't want to say impulse buy or something, but this was really, I was just searching auctions that are ending really, really in the next hour, oh my goodness, in the next hour or so or something, and that are still very cheap. This one still was pretty cheap, and ooh, what it's beautiful. Um, it's not really one that I was looking for, but it was like, hey, this is still around, I don't know, some euro just, let's start bidding on it. And okay, it didn't stay this um, <laughs> this cheap, but still it, 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 it's a price that I'm, I'm okay paying for around 15 euros. So, wow, that's a whopper. That's definitely big because it is a ring compact. Um, Polly Pocket had, um, apart from all of those play cases and play sets also like um oh, this is really hard to open why right? oh, no. um had other like small like toys that were separate and a lot of those were rings where you had like then one accessory to attach on a big thing like a 
a boat or, or, or a vehicle, a, a car, or in this case, a bed. And then the ring would lock with this, with this accessory and with a poly doll that would look out. And some of those rings directly had compacts or came with compacts. And so the ring needs the space, so that's why it is so deep. This one, it doesn't come with a ring and it doesn't come with a poly doll. Um, but it, at least it comes with the accessory because this is Midge's bed. Um, Midge's bed time or um, yeah, Midge's bed time ring compact ring box. And it actually came with Midge. Midge is one of the other um, friends from Polly. Midge always has like a very like light light red light reddish blonde hair in a bob style and has freckles this is always Mitch and at least we have her bed so there's actually not so much detail I mean it's not detail but not so much um, like action in here the upper level is her like living room or something she's, she's got a vanity um, and this is like a desk beautiful window outside with the sunset or sunrise now I think it's sunset and um, and here in the middle is the space where the ring would come in and then the bed would lock up over it like this and in the bed there is also like space to put the doll so the doll together with the bed and the ring would lock together you could wear it at your finger or you could just play inside here what, we, what is actually this I think this is a music, stereo music, um, I don't know, you could play music and music player, whatever you call it. There are some, there's a pajama laying here, some house uh, uh, slippers and this beautiful bed. And I have to say the color is really lovely of this compact. It is a mint. I think the camera might like catch it a little bit more blue. I don't know exactly, but it is mint and the logo is in a pretty good condition still. I mean, the outer ring often like fades at first. This is nothing that I re really looked into. It was just, oh, let's just try to get this. And then it was like, you won the auction. And I was happy because um, I probably would not have been interested if it has like no accessory at all. As I said, with no accessories, I'm just interested in the ones that are really cheap. Um, and at least one doll that belongs to the set I want to have. Let's get to the last one. This then must be like my favorite childhood Polly Pocket for my, at least some, at some point in time it was my favorite childhood Polly Pocket. Yeah. This is also a yellow heart and if you know a little bit about Holly Pocket, then you might guess which one it is. It's one that's very iconic. Um, can you already see it? Goodness. So good. And it sounds good, right? This is from the Quilted Hearts. Uh, it's a series uh, from 1994 of three compacts, all heart-shaped with these, this quilted pattern in the front. And they were all themed around, you know, babysitting, etc. So this one's called Strolled and Baby. And just look at it at first. Isn't that beautiful? This detail here, this ruffle edge, quilted pattern, this bow. Now let's open it up. I, I think I, I, I haven't had this in my hand since, I don't know, I was 10 years old or so, younger. Because I can't remember where my Polly Pockets went and I don't know when I still had them, but... Oh. Yeah. And here I was really like, I want to have this complete um, I would pay a little bit more for it. So I I found this, I don't want to say often, but but most often it was like something was broken off, 
it was really discolored just one doll no doll at all and still for pretty high prices and I was like no at least I want to have it complete then what if I pay a little bit more and I paid I think 30 euro flat 30 euro and then a little bit of shipping um, it comes with the three dolls that belong to it one is Polly and then one baby and one toddler you can see um, Polly herself, the green dress with the little um, ponytail and the baby in front of her. This is baby uh, Ben. You know, like Ben Solo or Ben Kenobi, <laughs> if you want. And then we have toddler, this is Lucy. And actually the upper level is like, you know, the baby crib here. It wiggles around and the sleeping bed for Polly beautiful curtains etc this is more like a playroom where you know for the baby to play with these dangling things um, they're an area where you could put the small baby in and feed it and this is actually like a playhouse you can like move down like so oh it's so cute and then here is like a bench and the squirrel like moves I don't know why but from side to side and when you would turn this little carousel thing now they have fallen out but anyways let's put them aside then this moves this, that's why it's called strolling baby you stroll around with your stroller and also this duck in the pond in the middle moves three beautiful yellow ones oh another yellow one I was really on the yellow spree here definitely um, and some other beautiful colored ones. This is actually pretty like unusual for a Polly Pocket to be this bright red because it's, it's a Christmas version. <sighs> that was it, that was my Polly Pocket haul. Um, it doesn't look as like big of a haul, but uh, Polly Pocket is a different thing than ponies. You know, if I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ponies, it's different. They are. Uh, I buy them. I buy them differently. I they are bigger, or I I don't know. It's it, it's a different thing, and it's something special to me to have so many Polly Pockets now that I really wanted to have because like uh, the storybook series, the jewel series, some of my childhood ones, the pet parade ones, the styling hair salon ones, like and this huge trinket or money box like which one's your favorite um did you have Polly Pocket as a child I mean I know that many people are really like oh yeah 80s toys etc etc and Polly Pocket started off in 1989 so it still counts also as 80s um but I was just born in 1988 so um, I didn't grow up with you know like Rainbow Bright or all, the, all that stuff so so like I'm more a child of the 90s so Polly Pocket was definitely my thing I remember buying Polly Pockets in the toy store with my mom um, I remember playing with them especially with this one and with the yellow heart one and now I need to make space where I display them but at first I also need to um, like um, clean them and also polish them because some of them are pretty scratched this one not this one is in a really good condition I have to say uh, thank you for watching I hope you had a little bit of fun seeing me like um, escalate here with Polly Pockets uh, thank you for watching see you real soon and may the force be with you bye